Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Now in the last episode, we went and we spoke to some people involved with the case, such as the witness, <laughs> and she was a piece of work, and we were able to trick D Detective Gumshoe into helping us out a little bit. And we also spoke to the lawyer, Mr. Grossberg, but he refused to take Maya's case. What's up with that? Let's talk some more to him right now. <clears throat> Your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Mm, I, uh, um, well, you see, it's just, I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Fey's sister. Mm, uh, um. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What crap is this? What's going on here? That's a great question. Now, let's try to talk to him some more, but I don't know how um, forthcoming he's going to be. How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That painting. And yet he doesn't care enough to try and help me a sister. He's... Mm. <sighs> Another one I would like to smack. That's quite a painting. Ah, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Okay, and that's pretty much all we're gonna get out of him, guys. It's a douche. Alright, let's move on. <clears throat> we are probably our best bet. We're just gonna have to tell Maya what's going on. Mm, it's almost four. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. More like the opposite. What really happened? She's not that foolish. You're a bad lawyer. <laughs> liar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to call you a bad lawyer. I just meant bad liar. <laughs> I'm sorry. Phoenix, I'm so sorry. Of course you're a great lawyer. You're an ace attorney. Okay. I'm sorry, Phoenix. You don't mean he refused to help? Mm. I see. I've been abandoned then. Oh, sad music. No, Maya. Let's talk. The day of the crime. 
Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Poor girl. Let's see, that morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. Yeah. Bad luck clock indeed. So then, when did, so then, when did you arrive at the office? Why did I repeat myself there? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Your family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? Your mother. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... he... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. Your mother's enemy. So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <sighs> the police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud. And the media jumped on it big time. She... My mother became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now. Before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Oh, come on now. It's pretty obvious. Do I just leave her and go home? Honestly, I'm curious what would happen if I clicked go home, but I'm not going to do that. Of course, we're going to defend Maya. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well, I can't abandon you, someone else is the culprit, or I don't know why. Of course I can't abandon you. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. Aw, little phoenix. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, 
I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> oh, Maya. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right. Thank you. Phew. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Mm hmm. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Okay. Um, do you remember? No, not talk. Do you remember if there was something I was supposed to present her? Oh, let me present to her the phone first. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Aw, I'm sorry. I changed the music back to the sad stuff. Um, I think that's going to be it for that. So let's move out of here now. Let's go back and talk to Miss May again. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May b might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, er, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Enjoy what? <laughs> okay, we're not gonna go there. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. You came back quick? Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Mr. White, huh? Oh, sure. Oh, oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Mm-hmm. We just heard that. <laughs> White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Now let's examine while she's busy. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. <gasps> what do we have here? A wiretap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the court record. Mm hmm. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy! Still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. Tangoing, huh? You gonna have a Argentinian tango going on? <laughs> okay. In court. Yeah, you had to add in court, because you're always saying the wrong thing when it comes to her. 
suspense music to be continued oh yeah it's time yeah I like this so guys that's gonna be it for this episode things are getting interesting now <laughs> So, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please let me know. And until next time, have a nice day.